Well, I got this trusty little tool here and I got this in hand, so you know what time it is. All right, so now we're on the back side. So we've got quite a few bolts to take off here. Um, and then we'll be able to get access to underneath here. So let's get these off and see what we uncover. Okay, so we got the cover off. So here's the interesting thing. And this is where I gotta ask the question, what in the world are technicians doing? Like, this is definitely not the entire screw setup for underneath here. These are correct, but we've got literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven type of screws. Like, I hate when techs do this, they, they just grab a screw and put it in. Rather than getting the proper one, they put in some janky screw. It's just nuts, look at that. It's crazy. So I'm gonna have to get that corrected. But let's go ahead and get into what we came here to do, which was check out the lovely oil change that's about to go down. Okay, so we got the panel off. This is the first one that needs to be drained. There are six others that can be drained after in any order. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So let's go ahead and get started with the draining. All right, there it is, the final one. So now that we got all the oil out of the drain plugs, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this cleaned up, we're gonna torque it down, we're gonna lower the car, take out the oil filter, put in the new one, and then fill it with oil. All right, now let's get this thing lowered so we can get the filter changed. So let's go ahead and get in here for a closer look at what's involved. We're gonna have to pull this back, take this off to get access in here to where the filter is. But this is where having those aftermarket struts will be handy. I don't have those installed yet, but definitely something I wanna get so I can get more access into this area. So let's go ahead and get this stuff taken out here so we can access the oil filter. All right, so as we're working in here now, in order to get access to the back wall, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take these out. So you just unscrew this. And we're gonna unscrew the top one. Get a light here so you can see. Unscrew the top. We'll just set those on the side here. And same for this side. That one's a little tight.
Typically there'd be some little twist off uh, pieces right here, but uh, they're already out. So you just twist them out, twist them out, and then you can pull this off. And then that's when you get access to right here. So there we have it. So now we're in and we're gonna be using that same star bit to take out these four screws and then we'll be able to get in here and swap out that filter. Okay, so now that we have the panel off, now you can see where that filter sits. So there it is right there. So we're gonna want to uh, put a little uh, paper and stuff in here, make sure we don't get any oil on anything. And let's go ahead and get that thing out. So I've got this lovely little gig here. Uh, so basically we're just going to put this in so that it catches any, uh, any oil at the bottom. So we'll put this in like here, we'll slide that in. And then what that'll do is that'll make sure we keep everything clean. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a shop, a little shop rag right at the bottom, tuck that in there so that, um, so I'm just gonna fold it over here like this and tuck that in there so that if anything does run out, it'll get caught on that shop rack. Okay, so now that we got that set up, next thing that we got here is our filter um, adapter here. So, that fits perfectly on there and we'll get our long extension hook it up and pop it out okay so as we're getting ready to take it out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get one more piece of paper and a shop rag. And I'm gonna put this right underneath it so that anything dripping as it comes out will get caught as well. So you just wanna make sure you keep everything nice and clean. So you can see that there, snug it in. So then we're just gonna unwind this and get ready to pull this thing out. So there we go, it's out, pull out, and boom. So you can see there, nice and clean, no mess. So let's go ahead, get this thing cleaned up, and get ready to put in the new filter. So inside here, you can see how, how nice and clean that came out. So I'm just gonna grab this and clean up this area here. Nice and clean. Wow. That came out really good. All right, so I'm just going to clean this up, get the new filter swapped over, and we should be good to go. I'm going to clean up all that excess oil in there and get the new one installed. All right, looking good. All right, so next up, we got to get this cleaned up. So we've got here the cap of that filter housing. We've got one, two, three uh, seals. We gotta take these off, three O-rings. All right, so to get this off, what we're gonna do, we're gonna twist. And then we pull that off. So we got the filter off. Now, we'll go ahead, clean this up, take off these O-rings, get the new ones, swap them over, and then we should be good to go. All right, so we got our three new O-rings. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna just dip those in a little bit of oil and then install them back onto the filter housing. Okay, so we got the first one. We're gonna just lightly get that thing on the tip and then pull it over. And then we got the big one. We're gonna get that down to the section. Just slide it around. So that one's nice and snug. And then the last one, this one, put them on here. And then we'll just get one side on. And then just rotate it around. Boom. All right. And then we take our filter and we just slide it on. Slide until it snaps. So now it's in there and it's ready to be reinstalled. All right, so for reinstallation, you just do the reverse. So we're gonna get this in here, align everything, and tighten it up. Okay, so our filter's on, our filter's installed, housing secured, take everything out, and reinstall all the covers. All right, now that we've got the filter change, it's time to get the oil in. So what we wanna do now, we wanna remove this cover here. Once you remove that cover, set it to the side. You've got your oil cap here, take that out. And then we've got our dipstick here. So I'm just gonna take these out, set them off to the side. All right, so we got our oil, and now we're just gonna pour in. According to the specs, let me get you the exact number. This is going to take 8.3 quarts of oil. So now we'll just pour until we've got a fill. All right, so let's go ahead and check where we are with the oil. Wow, it looks like we are just about there. Just a tad bit more and we are right on the money. All right, we're looking good. We are looking good, so the oil change is complete. The oil change is complete. So we're just gonna go ahead, put the cap back on, put the cover on, and we are done with the oil change. So seven drain plugs later, after doing this oil change on the NSX, I will say that I can see how dealerships ask for five, six, seven, eight. Well, I can't see actually how they ask for any of it, honestly. It's pretty high, but everyone's got operating costs, so they gotta pay their bills. But nonetheless, I can see why the bill is so high. 
You spend a lot of time taking off the protective panels with all those screws and once you get all those, you gotta set that aside and this and that and most of the time you're waiting for the fluid to drain out. So with that said, two bottles of oil, a filter, some crush washers and a little bit of time, you can actually achieve this job. Now whether you have a lift that you can work um, on or you've got the uh, quick jack stands or you're just using regular jack stands, it will take a little longer because you're going to be up under there trying to work in the tight space. But with the lift, it really helps to just be able to crank those bolts and let the fluid drain. You can go do something else while it drains. But with that said, the oil change is completed. So we are ready to get this thing back on the road. But as for this video, we're done and out. Thanks for joining, hope you enjoyed.